Russell's new record is out right now. Uh, it's called Southern Symphony. It came out on Friday, and I hope you guys check it out. Let me play you a couple clips here. This is track one, Never Get Old. So things never get old, kind of like whiskey, wine and gold. Every single night having... This is track four, another number one for this guy. It's called Love You Like I Used To. I don't love you like I used to. This gets... And this is track nine called Come to Jesus. Half the time I'm talking to her, because I'm a little bit... And she brings a little closer. I take her outside of the lines. Oh, and he's on right now, Russell Dickerson. How are you, Russell? What's up, my man? Good to talk to you, man. Oh, dude, thanks for that preview. I yeah, love it. That's what I do. I like to set, set people up real good. I tell you what was really cool for me to watch you do was play the Grand Ole Opry with Chris Tomlin. And I'll tell you why. Because oh. Russell used to be Chris Tomlin's guitar tech. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Talk about that first, Russell, your job with Chris Tomlin. Yeah, dude. So my buddy was the lighting director, and he was like, hey, Chris Tomlin needs a guitar tech. I was in college at the time, right? And so I'm 19 years old, and I'm like, forget college. Straight dropped out of college and uh, just went on the road full time, man. And like that is what made me fall in love with this entire thing, the music, the lights, the sound, the live show. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, like, got to sleep on a tour bus, wake up in a different city. I was the first up, last down. It was, like, the hardest work of my life. But, dude, that experience is what made me, when I started doing music, that was what kept me going. So he's Chris Tomlin's guitar tech for how long, Russell? Uh, about two years. And so at the Opry, they were both on the same bill. And as Russell was playing, Chris Tomlin came out to play with him. How cool was that? <laughs> Oh, man. Dude. It's just like that's what I always dreamed of while I was like sitting over there off stage in my corner when I was his guitar tech. I was like, dude, maybe one day like I'll get to sing on stage with Chris and like, you know, just sing all these, you know, super timeless worship songs with him. And then sure enough, like the Opry that night was that full circle moment of that all coming to fruition. How cool is that? Awesome. Love it. Insane. Oh. On right now, Russell Dickerson. You may know him for uh, Love You Like I Used To. It's on the new record. Love you like I used to this Which, the last time I talked to Russell, his song went number one for a week. And we were like, oh, a big party. But then it stayed number one a second week. Do you have another party when it hits a two-week number one, Russell? <laughs> Absolutely, dude. <laughs> we have an even bigger party. What was the? Is that your first two week number one, or did your other songs do that too? Yeah, for, well, yours was two weeks on on Billboard, but this was the first full out, full blown two week number one, man. And you know, we just we went up to Bourbon Steak in Nashville, and just I tried to order a little tiny pappy, but they didn't. They were all out. But you know, we just we just love to eat, drink, and be merry. So that's what we did with the team. I saw someone. Um, gifted you something you posted on your instagram story in your grandma's handwriting tell me about mm. that how special that was for you man that was wow um i mean the, i'm trying to try to say it without crying it's like that was my grandmother who passed away the exact day my son was born and so to to have we i like i said on the post i never thought that she would make it to thanksgiving this year and so this is our first Thanksgiving without any grandparents. And, you know, that that little handwriting thing was just like a piece of her still living on with us this Thanksgiving. And so that's why it's so special. Like she passed away like four hours before Remington was born. Isn't that crazy? That's so hard. How, how's the baby been lately? What, what's happened in your baby's life in the last two to three weeks? Because I know the baby's uh, growing like crazy. Dude, he he's just literally just grown. Like he doesn't fit in his car seat anymore. He doesn't fit in any of his clothes. He was already huge coming out, but like somehow he's gotten more massive. And so <laughs> we're we're tra we're kind of scrambling, ordering new clothes and all that right now. That's how I feel about Eddie. Same exact situation <laughs> and scenario. I'm always trying to get him new clothes. He keeps growing. Uh huh. You know. <laughs> He's growing out of them. Russell Dickerson's record, Southern Symphony, is out right now. You know, with that baby, you get a lot of gifts. What's the coolest celebrity gift you've gotten? Like somebody famous sent you something for the baby, and you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Uh, so Tyler Hubbard gave us a pair of Yeezys for little Remington. 
And I, I think that's got to be one of the coolest gifts for sure. And then he's going to grow out of Yeezys. And so then you have an expensive <laughs> baby shoe that can't be worn exactly. again. But I, I know. You could say, I mean, that's a cute baby shoe because in 10 years, people go like, what was Kanye thinking? And, but by the way, I like the shoes too. But they're probably going to yeah. look, be looked back on as a really bold fashion statement. Oh, for sure. Right. But before that, we can just hand them down to you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Ru- Russell Dickerson is on. Um, check out his new record. I'll say this, too. I mentioned this. You weren't in the room, obviously, when I said this. But I, I think you are a vastly underrated artist. And I can't wait for you to get your day when the award shows are popping and Russell Dickerson's right there with everybody else, just like he should be. Man, that means the world, bro. I really appreciate that. That's We're it. just going to keep going. Keep going. He's the most positive guy I know. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. For, I mean, he shows up with a smile on his face. He leaves with a smile on his face all day, every day. There he is. Russell that's Dickerson, right, right. the new record is Southern Symphony. This is the new single. I'll play a clip of this. This is called Home Sweet. Here you go. No, there ain't nothing like home sweet. You and me ain't got much, but we got all we need. Wherever the wind blows, wherever this life goes. Baby, all I know ain't nothing like, nothing like home sweet. There you go. If I didn't give you a reason to check out the record before, I don't have anything to say after that. You just should go check it out. All right, Russell. Hey, good to talk to you, man. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Bobby. Appreciate you, bro. All right, there he is, Russell Dickerson. It's a Bobby Bones show. Hey.